Chapter 11 Back at home Matt contacted his con, Patrick Burke. They met in the con's office, on nearly the top floor of a high-rise. The clan leader was a GQ-looking man with a perfectly fitting suit and haircut, styled just right. At his invitation, Matt took a seat facing the desk looking out the glass wall behind the con. It was well after normal business hours, and the lights of the city sparkled beneath them, reminding him of just how many people surrounded them. You're sure we're safe to discuss, Matt hesitated, business here? Of course. The clan leader wove his fingers together in front of him. You and I are the only people on the floor, and my office is swept for listening devices regularly. Good. Matt looked down for a second, then back up. First, I need to know if our clan has any tie to the Yellowstone Chanet. We've had no issue with them, if that's what you're asking, Patrick said, a slight frown creasing his brow. Are we allied with them for any reason? Matt sat back in the chair, relaxing a bit. Mr. Burke frowned. No. We've never had much to do with them. They seem to be, he paused, a bit clannish for lack of a better term. The other man gave him a wry smile, not missing the unintentional pun in his comment. Matt bit the inside of his lip, then took a deep breath. Let me tell you what's up. Matt filled his clan leader in on what was going on, from Rebecca having been raised in the Yellowstone clan, what he knew about her running away, and that she hadn't spoken to any of them in more than two years. A few weeks ago the con of the Yellowstone clan called me. He wanted me to ask Nick, the con of the White Mountain Chanet, for a meeting. I brought it up to him while I was down there over the last few weeks. You were there for your sister's wedding, right? Yes sir. Matt took a deep breath and let it out in a rush. Anyway, at my suggestion, they want to arrange a meeting in a neutral location. Denver was suggested. I told them I'd ask if you had any objections. I'm not sure if objection is the right word. Patrick leaned forward in his seat and eyed Matt. Do you think there will be any violence at this meeting? I hope not. I know that Nick and Steve will do their best to prevent any. Rebecca is pregnant, and if the meeting can't be done fairly quickly, they'll put it off until after the baby is born. She's almost too far along to travel this far. So they have a motivation to keep it peaceful, what about the contingent from Yellowstone? No clue. I haven't talked to them since the first call. White Mountain has requested that the con not be at the meeting, just Rebecca's family, preferably not even her father. But I wanted to see where the clan stood and clear things with you before I go back to Yellowstone with that. Any idea why they contacted you to be their intermediary? I can only assume it's because of my ties to White Mountain. I'm not part of the Chanet but my sister is as is her mate, and they're not low in the clan structure. Did anyone ever ask you if you wanted to do this, or if you minded? His clan leader sounded a little annoyed on his behalf. Nick did. He gave me the opportunity to back out and not be involved. I didn't take it. Mr. Burke closed his eyes for just a moment, and when he spoke again, he was calm and collected. Very well. What kind of entourage are we looking at? On both sides. Matt spent the next half an hour discussing the details of what Nick and Steve had decided to offer the Yellowstone clan, and what kind of group they would be sending to the meeting. In the end, his con agreed to let them meet in his city, but only in a public place, nothing private, where someone could be hurt and the clan would have to deal with it. Matt hoped he was right, and that they would behave themselves in public, at least enough to keep from exposing shifters. On his way home that evening, he thought about how exactly to extend the offer to the Yellowstone Con, and how to keep things civil. He needn't have worried. When he called the next day to make the offer, the Con agreed to every regulation with no stipulations. That worried Matt, but he couldn't put a finger on why.